Hey guys, Puppy Pals 180 here. Welcome back to another Pixelmon video. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It was pretty interesting. Uh, me, Super Pig, and JMD had or were fighting in a tournament. Uh, JMD came out the winner. Um, I feel like I kind of lucked out against Super Pig, and then he lucked out against me. Uh, Pikachu hit first against his Swallow, so I think that's what uh, I got kind of lucky with that. And then if Greninja hit Water Shuriken couple times then uh i might have taken out his charizard which caused me the most trouble so yeah that's the cool thing about pokemon battles is every battle can end out differently so make sure to stick around for the next tournament which will feature our complete team because i still have a another pokemon to get which are we are getting in this this episode by the way so it's gonna be great fun uh but yeah if you haven't seen that video it's really fun it's nice and funny and not very long, I guess, kind of like 25 minutes, but it's a good video, so go check it out. Uh, while you're over there, feel free to leave a like and a comment, and if you have any questions, I will try and answer them. But for today's video, you can see that I am over here, which I have not been over here yet. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need to explain that a bit. That'll come up in a later episode, but basically, I'm making a big project here. There we go. I'm making a big project here, and uh, it's been taking a while. I've basically mined out this off camera, and then got some materials, which are in this chest. Lots of materials. I had to go to the nether when chopping, and all the stone is from digging all that out. Um, but yeah, I should have enough stuff. If not, ooh, there's a guy over there. I might need to talk to him. If I don't have enough stuff, then I will get it. I might do that on stream, but probably, probably just do it off camera. I might do it on stream, though. I don't want to fight that guy right now. So, if you saw the last video and you're wondering, Hey, probably Pals, how your Rayquaza, he can make it- Oh, that's a shame, it's raining. Your Rayquaza can make it evolve? How did that happen? So, um, before we recorded the video, I found a move tutor that taught him Dragon Ascent, which allows him to make it evolve. Uh... I forgot to show that or talk about it on camera, so that, that's why. But anyway, I guess I will wait for this rain to storm. Oh, it's storming. I will be right back. So yeah, this whole big project will be called the um, True Team Challenge. I'm going to talk about it more in a later video uh, coming up pretty soon. But I realized if I'm going to make this, I need uh, my last Pokemon, my final Pokemon for my dream team, which is Zera Aura. If you don't know who he is, he's kind of a new Pokemon. It came out in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, he's one of my favorite Pokemon. He's like my sixth favorite Pokemon. So I want him on my team really bad. He's an electric type. Kind of like, yeah, just like Pikachu. And he kind of looks like a tiger in a, in a way. Um, he's technically a uh, legendary. No, he's a mythical Pokemon. Um, so he's going to be pretty hard to... Oh, Splink. Come on. He's going to be pretty hard to find. So I'll have to do some AFKing. To get him to uh, spawn. But um, he spawns in a shattered savanna plateau. So kind of like over here. Like a mutated savanna plateau biome. So while I'm going to use chunk base to go find one of those. You guys can watch this clip I did when I was getting resources. Um, I found a Victini. Or a Victini spawned. And I caught him, so here's the clip of that.
So, yep, we got this little guy. <laughs> I'll uh, put him in Rayquaza's place for now. He's pretty small, and he was not very, uh... He's only level, level, level 70, which actually, like, 10 levels lower than the rest of our team. But he's not t too bad, I guess. We go to the stats. Yeah, he's okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Rayquaza is still better, but, you know, I want to catch him so we can collect more legendaries on our team. Because the more, the better, right? Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous. I got all ex EXP shares for my entire team. I'd better if I get an EXP all, because then they can have their hell items like Decidueye and Charizard. Charizard can't Mega Evolve right now because he's got this thing. Uh, I just get these from beating boss Pokemon, which we do a lot of grinding off camera. That's why my Pokemon are all like level 7. Holy coley, can you not? But yeah, to segue into the video, um, I'm not actually going to find. A biome where zero aura spawns yet I am going to do something that might be really happy or cool for some of you and it could also be very sad for some of you okay let's do it, do it. Woo! okay so here in the mansion if we go up here it's my room very nice room by the way and uh we still oh wait here we still have our master ball so we're kind of guaranteed to find a uh, zero or to capture zero aura, but I'm not sure if we can find him. He's not that rare of a spawn, but my But anyways, I need to use one of these. I know I Growlithe. Um, he I I'll, I know I said okay. I know I know, I know he, I said I'm not gonna evolve him, but he is very very weak, and I just want to get him a bit stronger and. Arcanine is still really cute, and he is very strong. <clears throat> so, Growlithe, our little friend, has been with us for so long. He's not going anywhere. He's just, he's getting a new form. Growlithe, the Pokemon, is super cute and still my second favorite, but um, I mainly like competitive battling with- Oh, dang, I thought that was a Ditto up there. It was called Flary. Dang. Um, I like competitive Pokemon battling the most. So, Growlithe- Buddy, you're gonna have a little f uh, form change, and you're gonna you wanna get all nice and stuff. Hey, where are you going? Oh. All right, here we go. So you just have to give a little fire stone to this bad boy, and then he'll he'll start evolving. Oh god, okay, he's big, bro. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No. Oh. And he ate me. <laughs> Yes, we have Arcanine now. He's so big and strong. And we can ride him. Oh, God. Oh, this is not right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Little glitch when they first evolve. You can't ride him right. Yeah, there we go. We can ride him, and we don't need this bike I made. Oh, well. So, his stats now, if you look at his stats, are pretty darn good. Opposed to Growlithe was in, like, the 80s for his stats. So, let's try it on this, uh, this Geodude. I sent out Pikachu. Never mind. Arcanine. Okay. Use bulldoze and did like nothing. That would have took out our old Growlithe. That's actually a move I want to get for Arcanine. I want to get bulldoze eventually. Let's use Crunch. And he's dead. Boom. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> I, yeah, it was really hesitant for me to evolve him, but he's a lot stronger like this. And he's still really cute. I mean, come on. Look at that face. Look at that. Look at that face. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to use Chunk Base, which is a website that can tell you where biomes are in your specific seed. And I'm going to find a Shattered Savannah Plateau. So, I will see you guys when I find one of those. Goodbye. Alright, this looks like a good spot. We're in Savannah Plateau M. Uh, this may take quite a while for him to spawn. So, the only legendary Pokemon that could spawn around here are Victini, which is the one we already caught. And Zeraora. And, uh... Blitzel. <laughs> Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, that was a nice little hidey hole. Spooky hidey hole, but still. But yeah, uh, Victini and Zero Aura are the only ones that can spawn around here. I think Victini is less rare, so I'm probably going to more of him. But that's okay, because there's actually something I want to do. I really want to, uh... I want to get... There's a really weird lighting. So, Victini has like a 5% chance to drop a... To drop um 
another star. Which, for the thing I'm building, I really, really wanted two beacons. I want two beacons. They're gonna look super cool. In the little corners, I'm gonna make a purple. I'm gonna be all shiny. But, I don't really feel like defeating the Ender Dragon. And yes, I know the Ender Dragon doesn't drop it. I mean, you the best way to beat the Wither is to like trap him under the bedrock. Which is where the end portal is. So really, I'd have to defeat the Ender Dragon. And then I'd have to, like, hunt for Pokemon to drop Wither Skulls, because mobs don't spawn here. And then I have to get lots of Soul Sand. That won't take very long, though. We probably have enough Soul Sand. And then I have to put them under the end portal, where the Ender Dragon dies from and leaves the egg. So first I have to kill the Ender Dragon, and yeah, it's just a lot of work. And I'd rather wait for Victini to spawn and kill him, like, 50 times. Actually, no, 100 only like a 5% drop and I need two. Anyway, um, I guess I'll be AFKing here for a long, long time. I should have brought a bed. Oh, well, I set a waypoint here, so we'll be, we'll be okay. But I'm going to stay in my little hidey hole. And I might be here all night. So it's been about like half an hour now. And um, it's done a luck. A Victini uh, did spawn. Um, I killed it, but did not drop a nether star, which makes sense, because it's only like a 5% drop rate. But yeah, I've been in Savannah Plateau M for like 30 minutes, nothing has spawned yet, so. Oh well, I'll keep waiting. <laughs> uh, I do have my ender chest here, by the way, so. I'm gonna get my master ball before we get it, so. If it does spawn, we will definitely, for sure, for surely get it. Okay, goodbye. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, he just spawned. Um, so, a message for where he spawned. I have no idea where yet. I've been waiting for like, oh my god, there he is. Okay. Oh, he's level 50. We're level 80. I really do not want to fight him. I feel like I could kill him, but let's try a quick ball. Let's see, come on. I've just been like waiting in that hole for like an hour just <laughs> watching videos on YouTube trying to get him to spawn right now. Okay, he did escape the quick ball. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. He's level 50. We're level like basically 80. If I do anything, he'll probably die. So I really don't want to risk him going away, but I'm gonna try an Ultra Ball. A few Ultra Balls first. He's only- yeah, he's level- <laughs> we're probably gonna have to use the Ultra- or the Master Ball here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! One, two, oh, so close, okay. Most of his attacks have not affected Decidueye yet, but we are getting pretty close to running out of Ultra Balls. Okay, that didn't even... He didn't even think about that one. Alright, what does the fastball do? Improve... Oh yeah, it's like good against Pokemon with speed. Maybe that could work? Ooh, it looks pretty cool. I didn't make this. I can't, I just found it as like Poke loot. I'm pretty sure. Bag, Pokeballs. Uh, Ultra Ball. There we go. Nope, he broke out. Okay. Okay, 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 come drum! Alright, another quick ball just to, I don't know, test our luck, I guess. Oh my god, that was so close! He went like three, three ticks. Okay, another ultra ball. Come on, come on, one, two, no. He needs to get like four... Three is really close, but like four ticks means we caught him. Come on, come on. One. No. <laughs> it's okay, we got him now. I'm not gonna let him escape. I don't wanna hurt him at all. So if I have to, I'll use the Master Ball. Alright, come on. One. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. He's paralyzed. It took. Decidue took a little bit of damage. Another Ultra Ball. One. Two. Nope. 
Okay, it's getting pretty dark, but it's, it's fine. Too bad we don't have any dusk balls. That could really help. Mm -hmm. That's why I actually made the po big Pokemon farm beneath our base. Wait, what is this? Over here. It's another... Oh, it's a... You're in. <laughs> I'm getting really distracted. Okay. Nope, it broke out immediately. Fake out failed. Another Ultra Ball. Immediately broke out. Maybe he just doesn't, he, does, he probably just doesn't like Ultra Balls. I mean, like, they're so basic. We catch all of our Pokemon with Ultra Balls. Maybe he just wants to be different. I'll catch him with a Quick Ball. That'll get him. No, no, he's. Wow. So well, I'm obviously hesitant to use this Master Ball because at one point I want to get a Mew and a Mew Two. So we're gonna at least we're gonna need at least like two more Master Balls because they're like the hardest hardest to catch. If we do get an Arceus, I'm going to need another Master Ball from that, too. So, we'll have to figure out. Maybe we'll do a stream on getting some more. Okay, come on. Come on. If we get to, like, ten Ultra Balls left, I'm going to I'm gonna use the Master Ball. But for now, uh, Tissajua is doing pretty good. I mean, he has four HP, but most of his attacks don't even land. As I say that, he dies. Okay. We're going to bring out... Greninja would be super effective. Uh, let's bring out Arcanine. He's the new boy. The new guy. Bag, Pokeballs. Let's try another Ultra Ball. Nope. Immediately it broke free. In my test roll, it took him like three Ultra Balls. And he went in. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Oh, so close. Okay. Bag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. Okay. One, two. Broke out. Okay. Bag, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball. I have like five more attempts and then I'm gonna use the Master Ball. One, two. Dang it, he broke out. Alright. Four more attempts. Okay. Didn't do too much damage. Again, I don't wanna hurt him. A little 80. So. <laughs> I was gonna get like a weaker Pokemon for this and then maybe I could like, chip him down a bit or if like someone had um like maybe I could like give Ray Qua or I mean Decidueye give him like a false swipe that's the move yeah false swipe like brings him down so it can't get less than one HP basically that's really effective for catching Pokemon maybe some episode we'll make a catching team because this is like our main competitive team and stuff Come on, come on. Alright, this is my last one. Oh, so we should use the Master Ball now. I'm gonna try one more Quick Ball. I know it's not worth it. You're only supposed to use these on like the first attempt. Just wanna test our luck because I'm really hesitant to using this Master Ball. Bag, Quick Balls, one more Ultra Ball, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the Master Ball. Nope. <laughs> right away. Okay. <sighs> Pokeballs. I haven't really been paying attention to his moves, his move set. So, <laughs> goodbye, Master Ball. Ugh, that really hurts. Oh man, finally got to use it though. It's been sitting in my Ender chest for like days. Oh yes, we finally got him, and we got an achievement for using it. Cool. Good, good, good. I don't care about cheating right now. I'm gonna set the weather to clear. Boom. Oh, it's night. What is going on? Why is it? Oh, did I set it tonight? Jeez, I'm like freaking out. <laughs> oh my god. So I have done so much waiting. It's been like an hour and a half just sitting in this hole. I've been up there waiting. Been over there. I've been killing boss Pokemon. Just AFK for a very long time. A lot longer than it took for me to uh, AFK for Rayquaza. So I'm going to, real quick, back to the mansion. Here we go. Heal up my Pokemon. Or I guess just Decidueye. Yeah. Okay, cool. Put the Ender Chest 
safe and back here. And then finally, oh yes. Um, I want to take this EXP share off of Rayquaza because I'm probably not going to use him as much. And he's level 80, and he's level 50, so he has a very, very long way to go. But let's go, let's go test him out. What are his stats? Oh wow, pretty pretty good. He's a docile nature. He, oh my gosh, he's an enormous. That's really cool. I was um, I guess I wasn't really expecting a size, but enormous is really cool. And we can see the little master ball logo around him. That's amazing. So his stats right now pretty good for being level fifty. Oh my god. Oh, I took a screenshot. Look at him. This is amazing. <laughs> Guys, our dream team is finally complete. Recap. We got Pikachu. Arcanine. Greninja. Decidueye. Mega Charizard, but I don't have his Mega Stone on because he's using an EXP share. So just for now, it's Ch Charizard. And finally, our mythical Pokemon, Zara Aura. Yes! We can actually ride all of these Pokemon except for Pikachu. Wait, buddy! Where are you going? Yes! <laughs> I don't like to ride him. It looks very painful and uh, kind of painful for me, too. <laughs> so, I only like to ride Charizard, Decidueye, and Arcanine. And he just swallowed Decidueye, so I guess I'm only sw <laughs> flying on Charizard and Arcanine. But, enough with that. Let's actually test him out in battle, see how well he can do. Uh. Just kind of weak Pokemon around here, though, but I'm not sure where I can take him. Uh, I guess I can just try this Como. Why not? Yo! Bruh! Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, he has Fake Out, Quick Attack, Spark, and Scratch. Not the best moves. Uh, he's level 50, and we can get Move Tutor, so hopefully we can... Yeah. Flinched, very good. Now we need to spark. And boom, he's out. So yeah, he doesn't have like the best of moves right now, but we can always, of course, give him more moves. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This this video took a long time to come out. I am very sorry. Um, surprisingly, it only took me one attempt. Like, I didn't have to stop the video and record it on a different time. Hey, look, we match. He kind of, he, he matches my outfit. Anyway, he's really fast. Holy crap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Took a really, really long time to get Whiskers over here to you. But he's looking great. Our dream team is looking great. We're still not quite finished. I have some uh, some more sneaky plans coming up to a... Uh, hey, a boss. We can try him out with a boss. Yeah, we'll do it later. We got more sneaky plans to... Uh, to do with the team but thank you guys so much for watching like i said before um we're almost as of today when i'm recording this we have 35 subscribers so we're really really close to the big 40 so thank you guys all so much for watching if you are not subscribed yet because i'm going to be that cliche youtuber right now and say that most of my viewers are not subscribed <laughs> um yeah youtube tells me these things but anyways if you're not subscribed please do consider to and I will see you guys all in the next video. Leave a like.